Abby here Purple Cottage Crafts and this is my first official crafting video haul video actually first video in my new craft room so excited yay so it's still real echoey because if you watch my um, craft room I think it's craft room move in video number three or something like that that'll show you the current state of my craft room so I have one two three four five six pieces of furniture in here so it's still pretty echoey because it's not all the way moved in but since actually seven count my Ikea table that I'm on right now in the center of my room so what I thought I would do was go ahead and kind of start filming um, some different crafty and vintage uh, haul videos as well as start my massively long de-stash list of um, different things I've been packaging up and putting together. I have fabrics and um, I will save that for the stuff for the de-stash video but I have a ton of different things coming up so I thought I could start working on those and getting those kind of organized and kind of off to the side so I could actually get back to focusing on unpacking my craft room and getting back to actually crafting. So here we go. And let's see here. So these are some stamps. I purchased this entire lot of stamps. You can see the size of the container for $20 off of Facebook Marketplace. I love Facebook Marketplace. It is it has quickly gone up to one of my top five online places to shop for uh, crafty stuff in home decor too. I mean all kinds of really cool stuff. I found some amazing vintage pieces for my craft room. And so if you don't if you have Facebook and you've never shopped on Facebook Marketplace, go check it out. They categorize the different things. They'll show you what, you know, you can you can put the search engine for like 25 miles from your home address or you can make a, a broader search or tighter, you know, tighter in search, whatever you want to do. So I need to scoot my tripod. Pardon the shaky shake here. I didn't actually check this before I started filming. I'm finding myself reaching across this table and that's not very good for my back. So. Let me kind of move my stuff back here a little bit there. I'm not quite reaching so far. All right, so let's go ahead and kind of get started. I'll go through the packages first. I haven't looked at any of this stuff. Um, I got it a couple weeks ago, and I just put it off to the side. I mean, I saw the general pictures in the listing, but I don't know. She couldn't show all of the pictures, of course, um, all the stamps, because there was just too many. She said there's literally hundreds. Hopefully my fan's not too loud. I have it across the way on my dresser over there. So check this. That's why you're going to see stuff fluttering in the wind here. So this really cool glassine love that love this vintage ephemera and then we just have like a little coin envelope here am i i'm gonna pause for a second because i think i'm crooked i'll be right back okay i'm back i turned off my fan because i'm afraid it's a little bit too i'm afraid it's going to be too loud since there's not a lot of furniture and stuff in here yet to like you know my rugs and stuff to absorb the sound so i turned it off so i apologize if the first part is too annoying but moving forward when i'm in i'll have to have my fan on because hot blooded girl here so anyway here's an empty envelope uh coin envelope Convelope. New word for you guys. If you don't have time to say coin envelope, it's a convelope. There you go. Heard it here first. Okay, so let's check out what's in this here. Is there anything writing? So queen stamps. She did say that she spent hours and hours separating. So I'm going to do my best to put everything back into this packaging until um, the way she had it until I'm ready to put it into my own organizational um, systems. So, but wow, look at all these. Let me zoom in so we can get a better look at the beautiful stamps and oh my gosh they're purple look how gorgeous of course they're purple they're the queen they're gorgeous look at these stamps i'm not going to show like each individual one because that might take forever and i love it when i can find stamps that are on the original envelope i think that is just awesome what a great bit of ephemera so here we have some red boy she spent a lot of time that's a lot of work to put individual stamps and all these little baggies like that so and that's how I'll probably keep them until I'm ready to use them if I ever use them but there's red really pretty we have some more here that are on the original envelope and then what's this one this one says Canada I'm not sure why that one's in the queen one but that's okay that is okay and here's a different color queen Queen Elizabeth so and then here we have a blue and this one looks like it's a Gosh, it almost looks like brown, looks like a, almost like a plummy brown color. It's kind of hard to tell, but it's really pretty. I like it, kind of a natural tone there. All right, so let's get these put back in here. If you're wanting to see, um, and it would be a little bit before I could do this kind of a detailed video because I need to get moved into my rooms first, but um, like, you know, uh, my vintage stamp collection, because I have, you know, more than what I'm showing you here. This is just from a $20 purchase off Facebook Marketplace. Um, let me know in the comment section below or you can send me an email to Purple Cottage Crafts and I can put that on my 
my list of crafty videos for future videos. Here's another glassine envelope. I love these. I wish I could find like a whole box or baggie of these. They're just gorgeous. Love them. And then here, they have it just taped onto some paper. Oops, sorry. So, 1966, use five cent stamps. And I look at this tape. I love this. Um, I have a video where I'm showing you how to kind of make your tape look like this. It's a quick tip with Abby. I will try to remember to link it below. And then also our beloved Miss Nick the Booksmith, she has um, a video on this as well. So I just, oh, I love it. You, you can't get any better than that. I mean, that's original. I, I just love it. Love it, love it. All right, so here we have some more. I don't know how detailed you want to see the stamps. I mean, you know, I don't know if this is boring, if it's just, but I want to try to show you at least, uh, you know, a quick peek. I was trying to see, it looked like there was something shiny on there. But anyway, it's got the canceled stamps on there. I love that, They're the, you know, the thing from the post office, 1968. Wish stamps were still six cents. And see, these are, oh, my husband would love these, or the fish one anyway. That's really cool. So I have those. All right, so these all came from, what are these in? This one? <laughs> I don't remember. Yeah, they came in this one. Okay. This way it'll also keep them nice and safe. Oops, until and tidy until I'm ready to put them where I want them to, to go. So that'll be good. All right, and this next one here. Make sure I got them all out. So these are, let's look at this first. What is this? I don't know. Hang on a second. I gotta look at this closer so I can get my eyes to focus. I need to go to the eye doctor and get my get my prescription updated. Anyway, this is really cool. I'm not sure what this is for. I mean, obviously it's got measurements and stuff on it, but I don't know. Is this a stamp thing? It must be because it was in the stamp stuff. I don't know. It doesn't say stamp on it. On her belt. I'll have to Google. I'll have to Google that and see what that is, because I don't know what that is. So, but there's that. And this has envelope stamps. Wow, she did a lot of work. I mean, holy cow. She did spend a lot of time organizing these, that's for sure. I can't believe she only wanted $20. I thought it was 20 bucks like per envelope or something. And I was just gonna maybe just get just the purple ones and cause she had so many. And she's like, no, no, 20 bucks for the whole lot. And I'm like, what? And I couldn't believe. And it had been up there for like a day or two. I can't believe nobody else saw it before me. Oh my goodness, this is gonna take too long if I try to show you each one because I got this whole bin over here to show you. But just to kind of give you an idea, I'll kind of do this, I think. Oh, there's more purple. I'll just kind of give you a quick peek and then I can do a more detailed um, stamp video for those who really want to see them up close. Oh, I got a lot that are on the envelopes. I love that. So let's kind of move these around and take a peek at what these might look like. Very cool. Is this recording? Oh, I just looked up and it looked like it wasn't recording. I was like, no. Oh, look at this one. Does it say Christmas on it? I think it says Christmas. Look at that. Aren't those gorgeous? So some of these I won't ever use because I just, I can't bring myself to use it, to use them. I don't um know if others are like that when they, I mean, I'm sure there are other people. I'm not the only person on the planet, of course, but there are some vintage ephemera things that I just, I can't bring myself to actually use. They just, because it's not just about getting them to use them in a project and selling the project or gifting the project or keeping it for myself. I am like a true lover of vintage, um, you know, the antique items. And I love to look at them and pull things out and look at them over again. Just kind of, um, just, it, that's very fun for me. So it's not always just about, um, you know, getting these things just to throw them into a project or something like that. I, I love to keep them to look at too because you know being, I'm a collector too so not like a stamp like a true stamp collector it was like the values and stuff I mean like this type of collecting where I have them and I put them in my room hope that makes sense look at that one. Oh, that's gorgeous look at that beautiful stamp I don't want to take them out of the bags sorry I don't want to make this video you know super long more longer than it's probably already gonna be <clears throat> see so yeah a bunch of Clean, I think I'll have some Canada stamps too. Yeah, Britain canceled in um, Canada stamps, Canadian stamps, so. Very cool. I'm so happy there's so many on the papers. So, very, very cool. So these are all pretty much just um, repeating the Queen's, the Queen stamp, just some different colors of the actual stamp and then um, the different papers that they're still attached to. So I'll try to point out the ones that look like they're, you know, not as, 
don't look the same. This just says Jenny or Jerry. I, think, I can't tell. Sometimes fancy script is hard for me to, cursive is hard for me to read sometimes with certain penmanship. Okay, so what have we got in here? Oh my goodness. These are so beautiful. Oh, this is from Australia. That's an Australian stamp for all my Aussie friends out there. Look at that. Three and a half cents. <laughs> oh, look at these. These are more Australian. Trying to get to focus here. It's wanting to focus on the plastic bag and not the stamp. Sorry, there we go. Oh my goodness. These are like really like works of art. Oh my gosh, look at this gorgeous purple one. <gasps> look, I'm so excited. I have so many purple stamps in here. Oh my goodness. Definitely gonna have to um, make myself some type of a art piece where I can display it in my room with the purple stamps when I get the nerve to actually, and the courage to actually want to use them. Oh, look at this one. Look at that larger one, isn't that beautiful? So, so cool. And just look at the envelope. The I wish I had the envelopes too, that's really so neat. Not to sound greedy, I'm definitely <laughs> happy with what I found. Look at this one, it's got the stamping over top of it, the um, mark from the post office. Or the postal service so yeah these all kind of about the same images here it looks like okay so we'll go ahead and put these ones away in this envelope i found a shop on etsy and i'll when i go to edit this video i will um, look in my past purchases and i will link her etsy shop below of where I've been purchasing um, some of my other vintage stamps and she has like some great stamp um, different assortments and like from different countries and different types of cancellations and really great pricing so I'll link her below these are stamp hinges I purchased a box or not a box of a large well I guess it was like a bigger package of these on Etsy this is looks like it's not all the way oh, I guess it is open on the top but heavy so this is from Dennis I mean look at this I love the Dennis and labels just look at this packaging it's so awesome but these are little stamp hinges and this is what they look like I don't want to peel one off or you know like actually use it to show you I want to save these but this is what the hinge looks like and that looks like the other ones I have and this tells you how you use them and it's just a little hinge for the stamp so pretty pretty cool so peelable tasteless transparent thin the standard of quality very nice. All right, let's move on to this large one. Look at this great piece of ephemera. Let me zoom out so we can actually see the whole envelope here. Um, the All American Stamp Album printed on one side only. Da -da 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 -da. This is great. I should, I could scan that in, make that a digital. Yes, Abby said digital. I've been for a, quite a long time um, been thinking about. I mean, I don't know. I guess when I got into Florida, when we moved to Florida, I was thinking about digital. Sorry, I gotta take a drink here. Mm -hmm. I'm such a neurotic person. <laughs> My family and friends laugh at me. Um, I don't do this when I'm in the house, but if I'm outside, like at a barbecue, <laughs> this is totally random, but like I put something over the straw or the opening of the can or whatever, because I, I don't want bugs flying in my stuff. And I always have this fear that I'm swallowing a bug. And I know that we do when we sleep and whatever, whatever. But anyway, so I'm at my room, yes, but we don't have my door on, so I just have a sheet. And since I'm in the RV bay, you know, we roll up the two different bay doors, you know, bugs are gonna fly in. So I have this neurotic thing that a bug's gonna fly in my straw. I don't know the odds of that and I'm gonna drink it. So if you hear that crinkle when I take a drink, there you go. That might be more about me than you wanted to know. Look at this, lovely insects. Now I'm not a huge insect as far as like, speaking of bugs, but like, you know, butterflies and I love all that. And there's some fish on here, really, really cool. And there's some different types of uh, birds down here. And there's a, a sandhill crane. I remember seeing those in Florida. We had those walking through our yard all the time. It was really awesome. Really, really awesome. So lovely insects. And so this is from a, oops, oh, I almost started to tear that. Book or magazine from stamps. I mean, I zoomed out all the way. There we go. Oh, you can see the whole thing. I know it's hard to see you guys up close, but, um, so, oh, wow, look at these gorgeous flower stamps. Look at the mushrooms and the toadstools. Just beautiful. I'll kind of go like this so you can kind of see them. Holy cow, I'm almost at 12 minutes and I haven't gotten to the big tin yet. Just beautiful. And like I said, you know, I can always do a, a 
full on just stamp video where I can show you all these kinds of things up closer. So displays of culture and costumes. Wow, this is just really cool. I had um, some friends of my parents and I was going up, oh look at these. I'm, I've been collecting for, oh my goodness, probably two years. I don't know why it's taken me so long to do it, but um, a couple vintage nautical tomes and journals and things I want to make and these would be awesome to use in there, some ephemera. Um, that were it, huge into stamp collecting like this. Of course, I was a kid, so uh, you know, obviously we weren't allowed to touch the stamps or, or the books or anything. Um, but I remember them. I remember seeing them, and I thought, "Wow, that is a really cool kind of a collection." But I know it can be. Well, I think any kind of collection can be expensive to a point, you know, um, that kind of thing. But man, there you can find some stamps that are just worth, you know, I, I don't know if there are stamps worth a million dollars, but I know that there are stamps worth several thousand dollars. I've seen that on a different. Um, antique show. Steve and I like to watch um, Antiques Roadshow. Home, we can find it on OPB here. And um, just more birds and butterflies. I was trying to find a date on this if I can to see when this is from. So Beauty and Stamps. So these are African animals. Um, yeah, really cool. Oh, sorry, I just got sidetracked. I was reading this. Abby, you're filming. You're not. This isn't story time, Abby. Focus, focus. Okay, here we go. Oh, look at this. Republic, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that word because I will slaughter it. This is a gorgeous print. This would be so beautiful just to frame. Oh, look at that side. Even these other ones too to frame. That would be really pretty. Look at her walking down the street, strutting with her man. She's so proud. Gloves in his hand, pipe in his mouth, hat in his head. I love that. I, I just part of the whole classic movie era gone by type stuff that I like. So anyway. That is gorgeous. I'm going to have to frame that. That is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Um, man, I really wish I could find a date on these. I could be missing it. I probably can Google it and figure it out. Um, yeah, I don't see a date on here. But anyway, so oh, what's this? Anison. Do they still sell Anison? I remember hearing that. I remember, I remember that name, but I don't know if they still sell it. Squirrel. Sorry. That's what happens. This is Abby. Look at that. Give her the most fabulous Christmas gift of all. Well, I've got the best Christmas gift and birthday gift. My birthday is coming up. It's November 2nd. That is my craft rooms. All right, so fax favor sheet. So this is all about the different stamps and I, right? Yeah? Wait, what is this? Oh no, this is just actual facts about these different countries. Oh, I thought it was facts about stamps from these countries. I don't know. Anyway, so there's that. Let's get this put back in here carefully. And then now we'll move on to the big old cookie tin here of stamps. Holy moly. I think what I'll do is just, um, let me move these off to the side. Oh, I love having this big table. It's so nice. So I'll probably, well, not probably, I will be crafting on here until um, uh, Steve gets my actual crafting table built. And I'm gonna put these off to the side like this so I can put them back into the container as we go and you guys I'm telling you right now this is probably gonna have to be a fairly quick flippy through because there are hundreds here and I didn't want this to be like an hour long and like totally bore you guys so <clears throat> but I guess if you're watching a stamp vintage stamp video you're probably interested I don't know all right so here we go so here let's grab the first one so there are tons of stamps inside here oh my gosh I can't decide do I take these all out no I don't know because look how many's just in this bag that would take me probably like 20 minutes just to go through this one bag. I think I'll just show them like this. And then if there's a lot of interest um, for me to delve in deeper into this, then I will definitely do that. Okay, but I, if I see purple, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to break my rule here and pull them out because I'm a purple girl. So um, you can see, I'll just kind of do this maybe. Kind of flip through them. You can kind of see some of them anyway. So yeah, she said, and I definitely don't want to mess up the organization she had because I may actually want to keep it that way myself. So, oh, look at these. These are gorgeous. Look at that. They're like little works of art. They're just beautiful. Look at that one, that Christmas scene. Isn't that gorgeous? Well, winter scene, I guess. Oh, it does say Christmas on it. Uh, I, like I said, I haven't looked at any of these. I've just, you know, I was waiting until the video, so I have no idea what all's in here. Iowa! Light the candle of understanding. Let's see here. Got a couple bird stamps. Oh, look at this. There's a bigger piece of the envelope on this one. Look at that. What is this? I was trying to look for a date if I can read it. 
without having to take this out. I don't know if I can take it. I don't know if I can read it from the package. This is from India. Beautiful stamps. Sorry for the glare, you guys. I know it'd be much better if I didn't have those, the packaging. And then we have some of the ships. Let me zoom in a little bit more. There we go. Sorry, it's bouncing until I get my actual new filming uh, set up done. And then we have Rob Roberto Clemente. So there's those. And this is a pack here. Ooh, what is that? This is intriguing. I have to see what this is. Let me pull this out. Oh, I see. Oh, okay, duh, Abby, it's the back of a postcard. I was like, what is this? <laughs> it's, hello, Abby, you put, you put stamps on postcards. That's how you get them to their destination. Hello. Um, oh, Denmark. Oh, wow, cool. So I got some Danish stamps in there. Wow, you guys, this is awesome. Look at all these Danish stamps in here. Just gorgeous. Especially if I'm pulling out stamps from your country and you want to see more of the of the old canceled stamps, let me know. So let's see here. We ask, we ask, but for peace, liberty, and safety. Absolutely. Very cool. Ooh, look at the back of that envelope. That's cool. <laughs> let's see here. Wildlife conservation. There's that one. Sorry, I'm trying to show them to you too, but like I said, I haven't seen them, so I'm like trying to look close to my face so I can see them. You guys are like, hello, we can't see. So this is from Boys Town. So sorry for that glare. Let's see. I'll kind of pick through here and see what I can find in the background. Some of the really cool ones. Get back in there, I don't want those to fall out. Let's see, these are from the Netherlands. Netherland. Very cool. So I got quite a few in there from the Netherlands. Oh, these are gorgeous. Architectural stamps. The Smithsonian, Smithsonian in Washington. Now, both of my kids have been there. They did the um, New York, Washington, D.C. trip when they were in eighth grade separately. They're four years apart. But, um, I want to go there so bad. I, I've been to Washington. Um, I gotta grab some over here in a second. I've been to Washington, but I haven't been, to, or to DC, but I haven't been to like, you know, to a lot of the, um, I haven't been to New York and I haven't seen like a lot of museums and that kind of stuff. I did go, we did go to the Washington Monument when I was there, we only had time for that. <clears throat> but Steve and I have plans to, he wants to take me to New York. He's never been there either. So we want to do a, a, a you know, trip there. Might bring Kaylee, we'll see, whenever we plan the trip. So it has got some really cool different stamps in here. I have different images. So these are, yeah, these are USA stamps. USA, USA. God bless the USA. What's that say? Your word is your truth. All right, what's this one? What are first civil settlement Alta California? Again, I'm nearsighted, so I have to hold this stuff up to my face so I can see. So that's why I'm not showing you right off when I'm trying to read these. Look at that cool rooster. My sister-in-law, Shelly, one of my four sister-in-laws, she would love that. We both have like rooster stuff in our kitchen, but that's really cool. Oh my goodness. Ah, 21 minutes. I'm not even, I mean, <laughs> I've got all these piles. I don't know why I feel like I have to hurry. I just don't want to bore everybody. So these are from Budapest. Gorgeous. Just gorgeous. This whole bundle is, is Budapest. I'm trying to find a date that I can read to see what some of these cans. Oh, there's some from the Netherlands in here too. I was trying to find a, look at that one. Look at this. Let me get it out so you can see it. On the envelope, it's got part of the stamp on there from the postal office. The cancellation, isn't that cool? And it says post right there. I love that. Love that. I am such a, I've never been like a stamp collector, like, you know, obviously like people who do this and like, you know, for value and things like that. I've always enjoyed them, but I love postal ephemera. And um, obviously I just got, well, I shouldn't say obviously in case you haven't seen my, that'd be a cool corner um, tech for a journal, huh? That's cool how that looks like that on the corner of the envelope. Um, so here's some more from the Netherlands, and these look like they're all the same. So sorry for that glare. I have no idea who she is. Again, I'll Google at some point some of the stuff. 
And look here, see, look like some Olymp like an Olympic type stamp there, or at least downhill skiing stamp. There's that. Oh, anyway, the, uh, for my birthday, an early birthday present, my husband surprised me with um, two post office box um, units, and I'll link that quick video I did below, and then I'll probably throw a picture in as I'm chatting when I go edit this one. Oh, I saw these ones earlier, you guys. Grandma Moses. These are so pretty, and I have more of these. That means I have some to share. So, and that's what I do with my stuff, too. I'm not like, it's, um, I don't just like hoard all this, like, <laughs> I've got all these stamps. When I have a lot of excess of stuff, I do like to share with my crafty um, friends who also enjoy this type of thing. And then some things, you know, I do, I do sell, too. Girls got to get a crafty money going, you know, got to have your crafty fun. So, but um, I mostly like to try to share when I have extras or maybe not even an extra. Maybe I know it's um, from a, a country one of my crafty friends is from, or maybe it's a color or a theme that they are really into. Sorry, my purple friends, the purples stay with me. I mean, I know there's a lot. No, I will share um, a few of the purple. It's on video now. It's documented. I didn't say when. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, I'm set to dark. So Duke Ellington, there's that one. Okay, Abby, you need to hurry up. Um, another one from the Netherlands. Oh, that's a really cool one. Look at that. Oh my gosh, you guys. I don't know if I can go through all of these. There are so many. I don't know what to do. Um, I mean, look at this. I have a, look at this whole pile. You know, let's kind of start grabbing some and just showing you some. Like these are all backwards. I can't even see what those are. I'll look these closer later. Oh, this is from 1969, some Christmas stamps. Then we have some more Christmas. These are, oh, new 1970. Let's see if we can find some 1972s. That's the year I was born. Matter of fact, I got a t-shirt I ordered. It's supposed to be here. I wanted it, it was supposed to be here before my birthday, which is um, November 2nd. So I'm hoping, because I want to wear it on, on my day, at my birth. Look at that one. Really cool. I'll be turning 25. <laughs> Joking. Yeah, how would that work, Abby? You've got a 24-year-old son. I don't think that's really going to be how that plays out. Well, what is this? Let's take this off. Okay, so, ooh, look at that. Look at that beautifulness right there. Gorgeous. Germany. So this is from, let's see. Da, 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 da. Oh, so it's coming from Germany to the USA. Here's some stamps. For you Phil. Oh that is so cool. How awesome. What a cool bit of ephemera you guys. That is amazing that this person sent some stamps, German stamps, to a collector here in the United States. That's really really cool. So that's a great bit of ephemera for sure. Um, support our youth, United States Postal. This one says 1967 on it. Um, this is another bundle. I cannot even imagine the hours um, this lady's put into Boys Town. We had that one earlier. Um, to putting all these together like this. I mean, there are some that are like 20 bags in one little bag, and there's one stamp in each of those bags. Oh, look at that. That'd be another cool one for my vintage nautical books I want to make. Another Christmas. Okay, let's see what's in this one. This looked kind of intriguing. Is that another? Oh, Great Northwest. 1970. So there's that. Wouldn't that be cool if in within these stamps, oh, some more purple, there would be like a stamp that's like worth like a thousand dollars or something. I'm sure there's probably not. I, I imagine if this, you know, the lady who sold these, if she took the time to do all this, she, I'm sorry, I'm like out of frame. She probably looked at them for the value and stuff, but I'm guessing anyway, you never know. And then these are from Australia. The old kangaroo on there. It's cool. Ooh, nice. Nevada. Washington. I hope there's some Oregon ones in here. That'd be cool. Women in our armed services. Yeah, yeah. Anniversary of Betsy Ross. So these must all be obviously United States types. Um, let's see. Indiana. Oh, there it is. Does that say Oregon? It does. What a what a lucky grab. It says U.S. Postage, Oregon Territory Centennial. So that's from my state, folks. Oregon. Yeah. Oregon Trail. It doesn't say Oregon Trail on there, but um, Mississippi, Santa Fe. You pull a few more of these out here. 
Um, let's see, Tennessee. Um, that just says Roosevelt, doesn't have a state specifically. Um, American Chemical Society. Not that I would know all the different um, categories for stamps, but I never would have thought the Chemical Society would have a stamp. I mean, I, I guess why not, right? Let's see. Colorado. Ooh, that Colorado one's pretty. Ooh, really cool Colorado. Hey, if I find a Montana stamp in here, Angie, I'll have to send it to you. Or Michelle, if I find an Ohio. And my other friends that live in other states and I know of, if I find those stamps, I'll have to send them to you guys. My crafty girlfriends. Um, let's see here. These, these are like anniversary type stamps. Okay, I was hoping I'd find quickly some more specific. Oh, look at this one. Clara Moss, she gave her life. Look at that beautiful image. And that's the back side. Look at that bit of rustiness right there, that Tim Holtz grunge. So these are, these are some more from, um, some more Dutch stamps it looks like. Let's see here. Yeah, Netherlands and stuff. So just more of those. Two cents and a bunch of different ones inside there. Um, these are just like, looks like some bird stamps. Birds and what is that? Oh, alligator. <laughs> Amer oh, crocodile. American crocodile. Tell you what, we saw a lot. Well, not crocodiles, but alligators being in Florida for the two and a half years we were there. Oh, I won't show that one in case Michelle watches this video. We won't say what's on there. Um, let's see. Ooh, look at this one. It's like orange. United States postage. Look at that. I've never seen an orange stamp before. Pretty cool. I mean, orange like that. A U.S. stamp, I should say. Wow. Man, I wish I could go through all these with you guys. They're so cool. They're so cool. Transportation. Wow. There's just so many. No wonder she couldn't do all the photos. She goes, there are just too many for too many photos. I can't list them all. So, and there's just some, you know, more stamps, obviously, the Abby stamp video on the envelopes. That's pretty cool. Um, trying to see if I can find something that we haven't seen already or from a different country or something like that. Uh, ferry boats, canoes, let's see, more Santa Claus, um, just another nautical one. That's a really cool one, though. Or look at that ship. That's cool. Focus. There we go. There's that one. What's this little bundle? I don't recognize what's in here. Let me see what's in this one. What does this say? Postage. What is that? Oh, from India. I can't tell what that, what is this? I gotta look at this. I gotta hold up my eyes, guys, a second. I'll show you. Sorry. I don't know what this is. Can you guys tell? I'll wait for it to focus here. Hang on. What is that image of? I don't, I don't get it. I don't know what it's of. You have to tell me if you know. In the comment section if you can stand watching a half hour into this video <laughs> oh my gosh Abby so some more fish and then just some flowers we'll try to hurry along here a little quicker um ooh, hydrangeas I love those babies it looks like there's a variety of some different floral stamps in there um legends of sleepy hollow oh that's pretty cool look at that one uh, let's see here. Lots of smalls. Ooh, United States postage one cent. Look at, look at these. I have never seen stamps like these before. Where they're like actually part of the envelope. How cool is that? I didn't even know those existed. Again, I'm not a stamp, like, you know, a real stamp collector. That is really cool. Here we have some Canadian stamps on a manila envelope. Um, looks like this is more floral. There's old Abe Lincoln on a purple stamp. Yeah, yeah. Um, what do we got here? Thought I saw something different. Oh, no. Just part of an envelope. Okay, and then we have, let's see here. Health research. Um, these are from Russia. Right? I'm guessing. That's Russia. <laughs> I'm probably totally completely wrong, but there you go. Um, Eisenhower, there's more purple stamps in there. Um, Spirit of 76. Let's see, what is this? Monterey. Oh, Mexico. So this is your, like some Mexican stamps there on the back of that envelope as well. Um, 
um, these are just more from the Netherlands. They're all kind of the same, except that purple um, one on top. We have uh, Virginia, the Cardinal. Ooh, look at this one. Oh my goodness, we have to stop and look at this one. I don't want to take it out, but look at this. This is like actually embossed into the, the paper. I'm not sure if you can, I'm not going to be able to tell that maybe with the plastic on, but I can tell in real life it's embossed. There's texture. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. That is a gorgeous one. Okay, let's see here. I have to hurry up. I'm getting hot. Put my fan on. Um, yeah, these are just like, these aren't like super old. Like, you know, these are, I remember seeing some of these like when I was in high school and stuff. So it is some different, you know, like love stamps and things like that. Colonial American stamps. Um, let's see here. Oklahoma, South Dakota, New Jersey. There you go. The Netherlands. Oh, here's some more ship ones. Roanoke Voyages, North Carolina. I've been to South Carolina, but not North. I flew into South Carolina a couple times. Well, so I've been to the airport. <laughs> no, we did drive through um, South Carolina, though, too. It was Performing Arts, John McCormick. Look at this one, Augusta, Maine. I've got a couple girlfriends that live in Maine. There's a Maine stamp, and it's pink, and they both like pink. If I find two, I'll send to each, um, if I find another one like that, I'll send them to each of you. Um, these are just, again, some more, kind of more of the same. We've already seen, uh, let's see. Oh, these are different. Oh, these are from Portugal. Check that out. So my kids have some Portuguese, and I don't know the percent because their, um, their dad's mom is part Portuguese. So that's pretty cool. I might keep those maybe for a... Um, heritage album or something for the kids I might do someday because I've got some pictures and stuff of his of their dad's side of the family that their my former mother-in-law had given me um, veterans world war one well that's really neat not the war obviously duh but Abby <laughs> but the um the stamps wow he probably couldn't even see those um Let's see, I'm trying to find some that look public education. There's some more Santa, there's some more flowers. Oh my gosh, it just goes on and on and on, you guys. Um, oh, Native American, this is awesome. Look at that. That is a beautiful stamp. Oh, um, ooh, look at these purple ones. And these are also embossed into the, um, can you see that through the plastic? Probably not, you can see that it's embossed through there. The purple is so present. I love it. Great River Road. We got a horse, a quarter horse. Um, let's see. It looks like a couple of militaries. More from the Netherlands. Wow, there's a lot from the Netherlands on here. 1983. Another corner one. That's pretty cool. Just some more on some envelopes like I've already shown you. Um, let's see. This one's full of United States one again. So these have a bunch of different states. There's Utah on there. Just look real quick for my US friends, so I can find anything different than what I've already said before by looking here just real quick. Um, no, it looks like some more veterans, religious freedom. So they're like, you, you know, they're like United States based stamps, but they're like categories in that particular one. So, oh, I think I already showed you that one. Um, let's see, anniversary of the US Coast Guard. Uh, let's see, oh, did I ever show you the Native American one? I think I, no, I didn't. I don't remember. I'll show you it again. I think I have two. I think that's the second one I showed you, or I have. Um, just a love stamp. There's some more birds. Uh, let's see here. More birds again. I already showed you some of those. Oh, these are cool. Look at these little tiny ones. Nine cents and 15 cents. Look at those. I know it's hard to see with the plastic, you guys. I, I apologize. I just really don't have the time to take them all out and, um, and mess with them, and I don't want to mess up the organization either. So, Louisiana. Got a couple Louisiana stamps there, the Sandhill Cranes. And it'd be cool if I could find some Florida ones. Um, so I could put it in my um, Florida scrapbook from when we lived there. I showed you those. There's a boxing. There's another cool one on a um, old envelope. Uh, let's see, Father of the Blues, Alabama. Been there a couple times. Our daughter almost went to University of Alabama. She was registered, had her dorm, did... Is that my husband? Oh, I gotta pause. My husband's calling. I'll be right Okay, sorry about that. 
He's at the store, important stuff. He's getting my my water so that I drink. Let's see here. I want this looks a little bit different in the back. I want to see what these look like. What? Okay, some more from um, the Netherlands and from let's see here. What are these little tiny ones? Does that say Samoa? Oh. Oh, Finland. Oh my goodness. This is really cool. My younger brother might um, be interested in this, uh, even though it's purple. Um, he's Finnish. It's my half brother. His dad was um, second generation, second generation um, living here in the States. I'm not saying that right, you guys. His parents are full blooded. My, I hate the word stepdad or step parent or step mom because to me, steps are what you walk on. They're not what I call or label or give a name to somebody who's chosen to raise you as their own, as if you're their, you were their own blood child. And I was raised by uh, two stepdads. So um, I hate to use that word, but just to, for clarification, it's my um, younger brother's dad. So my stepdad, his parents were full um, Finnish, as was he. And then uh, my, so my brother's half Finnish. Anyway, so it was pretty cool growing up with, with them because with his parent, my I guess my grandparents, um, because, oh, I thought that was a pink flamingo. It's a Santa Claus. American Lung Association, some more Native American. That's really cool. Anyway, because um, they're really big into saunas. Um, Finnish people, I'm not saying they're the only nationality, but that's just my experience is with the Finnish people. So whenever we'd go there for like holidays and things like that, or just family get togethers, these are from New Zealand. I haven't seen those yet. Um, we would get in the sauna. I wasn't a big fan. I don't like being hot like that. But it was an experience. But there are those. Really cool. So it's going to be fun going through this Ooh, Bicentennial, Naval. It's going to be really fun when I have some downtime to kind of sit through these. I think I'll do it with Steve. He would really enjoy these too, I think. Look at these some more. Now this is like on like cardstock. And this, again, is like lasered into, gosh, these darn plastic bags. Oh, I'm going to just break one out. I'm doing it. I'm going in, folks. We're going to grab one out because these are just too cool. Well, all of these are cool, but this one is like a thicker cardstock or whatever. So it was obviously on the back of some type of a publication. But this is like into the paper. I mean, it's like it's not like a stamp. It's like part of the paper. Oh my goodness, let's focus. I just want to focus on my nails. Let me do this. There we go. That is so cool. So, so, so cool. Okay, so how long would it take me if I was to do that for each and every one of these on camera? Uh, so there's like some raspberries, looks like some fruit in here, some different fruit stamps, some birds, stuff like that. Um, I've seen, we saw that, or at least I saw that one before. I'm not sure if you guys caught it. Um, Trying to see, I don't know where this is from. But that one's pretty cool too. Okay, um, let's see here. So we got some of these. Was I finished with my story? What was I even talking about before I got sidetracked? Ooh, there's some pink ones from my pink girlfriends out there. Look at those. Let's see something like this. Oh, that's from Bel uh, Belgium. Hey! Peggy, I got a um, crafty friend Peggy from Belgium. She and I did a journal swap years ago. Um, that's really cool. And there's some more of the ones on the paper that are boss that I showed you. Um, United States, Johnny Appleseed, another Christmas one, very cool. Since I'm working on some holiday things. These are from Brazil. I don't think I showed you Brazil ones already. Brazil ones, Abby, really? Alexander Graham Bell, it's got some purple. Woohoo for the purple. 1969 new one set stamps on the back on this paper. And there's some canceled ones on the front. Uh, let's see. Oh my goodness. 1968. And this one. Um, these are, I'm assuming, more of the Rush, Russian ones. I don't know. I probably look like a total idiot if I'm completely wrong on these. I don't know. That's okay if I do. I don't, you know, I'm always wanting to learn. If you want to let me know. If I'm mistaken, which I probably am. Ooh, movie makers. This is awesome. D.W. Griffith. I do like a lot of his movies. He's um, directed and stuff. Oh my gosh. I I need to research and see if there are classic movie um, stamps. 
and I know there are some of um, like I know like Grace Kelly there are Grace Kelly stamps but it's more when she was um, um, a princess but I want to oh look at these you guys these are on the paper too like stamps oh my goodness Abby let's do this right those are so beautiful oh those would be gorgeous like just framed um, looks like I got some holiday makes a holiday these are US stamps makes a holiday I see here some different greeting like new holiday greetings there's some horses another painted horse Christmas tree Christmas wreath that kind of thing US stamps um, Francis Parkman American historian American historian US postage three cent stamp got four of those babies um, professional baseball Cherokee strip um, oh, some more holiday Christmas greetings. This actually goes with some, I think it's Echo Park paper that I just picked up. 1961 Christmas seals. We're getting, we're getting closer to the end, you guys. Oh my gosh, this is going to be such a long video. Um, space shuttle, that's pretty cool. We did see um, one of the, being so close to NASA, or Cape Canaveral, we um, did see one of the rockets or whatever launch. I don't remember which one it was, but we were at a um, manatee park in Orange City and we saw the trail, it was really cool. There are people out there with camera lenses that are like this, I mean Angie's huge, you know, being a photographer what they are, but they're like huge, like the circumference, and they were like long and video cameras and stuff. And we had no idea that was going on at the park that day, like people out there watching. We, we just had um, friends visiting from Oregon, so we just went there that day and um, we knew about the launch of course because it was all over the local news and everything, but um, See, 1968 Christmas. Those are really cool. Real retro stamps. Um, I'm trying to go, like I said, past the ones that are kind of, you know, lit, like what we've already seen. They're pretty generic. Um, aviation. There's another Olympics from 1976. Um, Gettysburg. Ben Franklin. Or wait. Charles Correll. Why did I say Ben Franklin? I have no idea why I just said Ben Franklin. So these are stamped on the back of some packaging or something. Yeah, somebody's hearing test. <laughs> so there's that. Um, the United States. Uh, these are two cent stamps. And John Dewey, Henry Ford. I remember my mom having a roll of uh, two cent stamps. More from the Netherlands. Wow, there's a lot of like Dutch stamps in here. Um, communications for peace. Football. Oh, that's a cool one. Steve will like that one too. More from Belize. Um, sorry, I should be holding these up higher so you can see them too. Ooh, palm tree. South Carolina. Now, we did drive through there and I did get some pictures of South Carolina. Put that in my um, traveler's notebook for that road trip. Jim Thorpe, Christmas. Um, Jim Thorpe. Now, I don't know a ton about football, but I do know because uh, Burt Lancaster played Jim Thorpe in the movie. A classic movie and he was a Native American um, football player and back then it was still segregation and stuff and so here's Einstein um, you know a lot of the teams didn't want him on their team because he was Native American I don't know if, I don't think the movie was called Jim Thorpe I think it was called something else I don't remember I've only seen it a couple of times because like I mean I love Burt Lancaster but I'm not, like a huge sports fan so I don't watch a lot of classic movie sport like where the whole movie is like you know like the whole movie is like boxing or the whole movie is like you know football or baseball or whatever I mean there have been a few because you know Jimmy Stewart and some different actors that I really do enjoy but um but I've seen it a couple times because I, I do love Burt Lancaster let's see Social Security Act uh, let's see here another ooh another Jim Thorpe more aviation these are some um, Franklin Lloyd Wright those some more US stamps look at these these are gorgeous so fancy dance, butterfly dance, and traditional dance. Look at these gorgeous Native American stamps, you guys. I have, I think it's Cherokee. I don't. I'd have to ask my mom. Actually, look up. I can just look at my um, ancestry thing I did a few years ago. Do you know that I am one percent Asian? And my kids got the biggest kick out of that. So okay. So I don't want anybody to be offended when I say this. If you are, I apologize. But this is. This is not meant. <laughs> anyway, so my one of my daughters, not one of my daughters, I only have one daughter. One of my daughter's best friends, she's like a daughter to us too. She likes to jokingly call me a Blasian, a black Asian, because she was there when I got the results. She was visiting us in Florida. 
And so they just got the biggest kick, Idaho, got the biggest kick out of <laughs> their, you know, their black mom and having some Asian in her. It was just, it was just funny. It was to us anyway. Again, apologies to that offense, anybody. I am black, so it's, I don't feel like it's bad if I joke or, or you know, say things. Anyway, I digress. Let's keep to the crafty, Abby. <laughs> Let's not get off on topics like that. Okay. Oh, we're almost done. Just a few more. Um, oh, look at another purple one. Yay. All right. So here we have Rural America. Um, I was trying to see if it had the state on it. America's Wool. New Mexico was on there. Um, USA. So the different, like, I think, like, weather balloons or something, or what the NASA uses or something. I don't know what there's a call, but that's really cool. I have a really cool stamp from Marion Smith. Um, from her pure romance novel collection that she did with Prima years and years ago. It's a stamp like that. It's really cool. Doesn't say intrepid on it, but eh, take a bite out of crime, a gruff the crime dog. That's funny. And last but not least is a 1963 Christmas stamp um, from the United States. So there you have it, you guys. This is my vintage stamp um, haul from um, Facebook Marketplace for $20. So you saw all of this. You didn't see all of them, but you saw a majority of what I got. So if you're in the market for stuff like this or anything along that line, I would like to encourage you to check out your Facebook marketplace. If you have Facebook, um, I know in my area they have like in Lebanon, they have like a um, safe, like secure place for you to meet up with people. I would always suggest people you don't know meeting in a public place. There have been a few times where we've had to have people to our house because they bought furniture, but my husband was home with me. We, we, we had some banter back and forth before just, you know, let anybody just come to know, know, uh, know my address and everything. But I always meet in a public place. I know in Lebanon they have at the police station, they have some designated parking spots just for online stuff like that, you know, for, you know, Craigslist and Facebook marketplace and all those different, you know, garage sale, all those kinds of places. So if you've never um, purchased online before, um, you know, like where you go to meet somebody locally to go pick up something or whatever. And some, sometimes you have to go to that person's home because that's where the, the larger items are. But if it's things you can pack in your car or things like this, I met her at the Panera parking lot, Panera Bread parking lot. You know, so I would just advise if you've never done that before, if you can meet in a public place, um, and if you're not very comfortable going by yourself, just bring somebody with you, a friend, a husband, friend, you know, whatever, kid, whatever. Bring somebody with you so you feel comfortable. And, um, you know, there's always banter back and forth. But at least that's how I do it when I sell and when I buy. So anyway, I can do a separate video on buying online, if different ways of buying online if you guys are interested in that. Because this girl here, she's kind of a pro because I shop. Clearly, I shop too much. But anyway, so I wanted to share this with all of you. And then you'll see this again, of course, when I get ready to organize these in um, my um, organizational systems and stuff. And I'm pretty excited about that. So thanks so much for watching. I apologize this was so long. There's just so many here. And like I said, if you are truly interested in seeing more of the stamps up close or anything like that, let me know. And then um, I'll write it down in my YouTube planner that I have um, for like, you know, video suggestions and things like that. And when I get some time to sit down and kind of go through these and do that, I might have to make it like maybe a two or three video series because there are so many. I'm more than happy to do that because I also would like to know what uh, all different ones I have because I didn't see all of them either. So I will see you all next time. So happy scrapping, happy planning, happy crafting, and happy stamp collecting. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!